How's it going everyone? Famine52 back again and today we're continuing on with our playthrough of Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Let's go. Alright, welcome back everyone. In the last episode we went through the Nibelheim experience uh, with Cloud and figured out why Sephiroth is the way that he is. And uh, Tifa and Aerith had a little bit of a heart-to-heart, -heart, and now Tifa is right outside that door wanting to talk to Cloud. So I wonder what that's going to be about. Uh, before we go out there, can I interact with uh, Nanuki or Barrett at all? Negative, and it doesn't look like there's anything else in this room for us to interact with. So let's go see what's up with Tifa. Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. I will, I will. Let's go on and head on out. that I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? <sighs> interesting, interesting. We got some Sephiroth mind games going on. Or whatever mind games going on. Heading on upstairs. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. <laughs> Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? I can't believe I'm having this conversation with you, but here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zangon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. It wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. Oh, good job, Cloud. Good job, Cloud. All right, uh, let's go ahead and head on downstairs. Looks like we can do something over there later once we are able to explore the City of Calm a little bit. Head on back inside. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong.
Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Very well. So, I know that we got a little bit of this from Aerith in the last episode. But, uh, I think that they are implying that the way Remake ended, um, it is going to be altering the characters, uh, personalities and stuff from, that we know of from, Re, uh, from Remake ever so slightly, uh, to more fit the Rebirth. Uh, narrative I think that's what's going on because I don't remember cloud being exactly like this in remake no I know that he was very close to what we're seeing right now in the original but they kind of hand waved that in remake so I wonder if that's what's going on here in rebirth but anyway let's go ahead and head back into our room you two fight no. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Night. Tomorrow is another day. Never meet your heroes. I'm assuming that's, yeah, that's chapter one complete. So here we are in the morning. Probably still nothing I could do in here. No, there's not. All right. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Queen's Blood. You can now play the card game Queen's Blood. Find other players, denoted by the yellow icon right there, around the world and challenge them to matches. Should you win, they will often give you new cards to add to your collection. Defeating players will also give you the opportunity to fight other opponents in different towns. You can also build and edit decks by selecting card decks from the main menu. Let's go to learn how to play. Is this gonna be like triple triad? Uh, kind of looks like it, actually. Not quite though. Uh, each player takes turns placing a card on the board in one of three lanes that span from left to right. Uh, first, try placing a card on one of the highlighted tiles. Uh, a adorned with an emerald pawn okay so if I had to guess I should probably do the right trooper here oh no it's telling me to it's telling me to do the uh, the the cactuar Start placing it right here. Uh, once a card placed is powered, uh, or its power is added to your lane total, new positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place cards. Uh, the yellow number in the top right corner of a card is its power and the position a card will or while the positions of what? Yeah, sure, okay.
Uh, next play a card so that one of its yellow tiles overlaps with one of your existing positions. Oh, okay. So is that going to be something like this? Uh, when one of your card's position tiles overlaps with the position you control, uh, the position raises in rank. Uh, as there are two pawns on the tile now, that position is ranked two. Uh, cards can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank, uh, which is denoted by the number of pawns on the top left corner of the card. Uh, thus, in order to play more powerful cards, you will need to have to raise the rank of your positions. Got it! Okay, okay. As you now have a rank 2 position, try placing your rank 2 card on it. Will do. Uh, when one of your card positions overlap with one of your opponents, you claim that position is yours. Note, however, that claiming a position will not raise its rank. Uh, you can keep track of who's winning a lane by looking at the point totals on each side of the board. Uh, the numbers to the left represent your power, while the ones on the right represent your opponents. Uh, you may notice that some cards have tiles with red borders, uh, while where these are tiles that are affected by uh, the card's abilities. Uh, place cards effectively to make the most of their abilities and amass more power in more lanes than your opponent. Uh, in the event you cannot place a card, uh, you can pass with triangle. Uh, when both players pass consecutively, the game will end. Okay. So... What happens if I do this? That. Can I do this? I cannot place any more cards. I think that we are technically losing too. Uh, once the game is over, each player's score is tabulated. Uh, only the player with the higher power in a lane has the power added to their score. In other words, no matter how high your power is in a, uh, a lane may be, if it is less than your opponent's power in the same lane, it will not count towards your score. After calculating the winner for each lane is added, their lane scores up, the player with a higher score will win. Oh yeah, so I lost.
Yeah, this concludes our tutorial. I'm gonna do that again. I'm not going to read this stuff again because I don't know if I necessarily need to. Just need to understand what I did wrong. Go ahead and put this guy right here. So I more or less have that top lane locked down from what I could see. So let's go ahead. Raises the power of allied cards on affected tiles by two while the card is in play. So I could do this. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and put this right here. This guy right here. Well, let's go ahead and put magic pot right here. Top, we are winning in the middle. Is there anything we could do to win the bottom? Doesn't necessarily look like it right now, so let's go ahead and put the the crab right here. card right here. Okay, there we go. Alright, cool. So that's going to be one of the little mini games around here. Good to know. Hello, door. What's in this chest? A bottle of ether. Very well. Moving on. Can I enter into their room? Ooh, I can. What? They got a balcony? They got a balcony with windows into our room. That is slightly creepy, but okay. Luckily, we, we know the girls. So I guess that makes it less creepy. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crimes. I need to keep this place looking spick and span. Don't want to let Broden down. Especially after he insisted I focus exclusively on cleaning. Very well. Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh. But Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. 
Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? Very well. Adjust the party's gear by excising the materia and equipment on the main menu. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. What's a folio? Is that something that we're supposed to know what it is, or... Is it just a Finally. word they threw at us? Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Red 13 has joined the party. Oh, uh... If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Hmm, the rook's got a backbone. Uh, overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folios. Very well, very well. Uh, material and equipment. Hey, there's red. But well, let's go ahead and move on. There's somebody here that wants to play cards. I want to play, but what if I lose? <laughs> what do you want? Don't scare me like that. You, you don't want to play Queen's Blood, do you? I was hoping that... Oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me! Oh, God, this is too much! I think... I'm gonna throw up! Don't give me that look! It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry, too, you know! Oh, people call me crybaby dead! Because the more tears I shed, the better I get in Queen's Blood! Oh, please play around with me! Very well. Uh, let's go ahead and challenge him to a match. I, I guess let's go ahead and choose this deck. Uh, if you don't like some or any of the cards in your where you have drawn you can put them back in your deck and draw new ones as you cannot play high rank cards right away it is often a good idea to return them to your deck in hopes of getting ones that will help you early on so i guess we could mulligan this guy and this guy Okay. Um, we ended up getting that that elephant back anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and place the grassland wolf right here. And then the J unit sweeper. Let's go ahead and place him right here. Security officer, right there.
Go ahead and plant this guy right here. Very well. Let's place that there. Place that there. And then place one of the elephant things up here, I guess. Yeah. That should end the game in our victory. a good cry there's nothing like a game of queen's blood to relieve some stress speaking of you look like you've got a lot weighing you down too it's written all over your face trust me crying does wonders you really ought to try it yeah something tells me that's not gonna happen bud at least not for a while just thinking about what might have happened to my family makes me sick Is there someone up here that I've wants to play so many times now Oh, looky here. I'd say we got ourselves a contender. So how about it, pretty boy? You want to throw down? But first, let me introduce you to Nene, Master Ventriloquist. Now, she ain't much of a talker, but give her a deck of cards and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you? Well, are ya? Interesting. Feel weird having a child say that, but very well. Uh, let's go ahead and... Can I... Change out a card? Edit deck. Can I put one of you in here? Can I put both of you in there? Okay. Let's go ahead and remove one of those if I can figure out how. There we go. And then take out one of these guys. There we go. And let's begin. Uh, let's go ahead and redraw, honestly, all three of these. And I guess we are going to start with this guy up in the corner. And let's go ahead and put the sweeper down here.
this guy. No. Let's go ahead and put this guy right here. One right here. This guy right here. Sweeper right here in the middle. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put the Queen Bee right here. No, not necessarily. There we go. We obtain the Cactuar card. is you were brave enough to take on a bona fide card shark like pretty boy here. Sometimes you gotta take the L if you're serious about upping your game. Listen, kid, you got what it takes to be a champ. I'd bet my bottom gill on it. Now why don't you show Blotty your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. I'm sorry, that's just creepy to me. That's just I creepy to me. Right. What do we got here? We got the bookstore. Sure. Armed and dangerous. Gate. Behold the towering wall that I have built. The future of all is mine. I guess let's go ahead and go to the that bookstore. Crazy. Hello and welcome to my humble shop. So we got potions, phoenix downs, antidotes, cushions, uh, healing materia, fire materia, ice, lightning, wind materia, and chakra materia, as well as assess. Ooh, we got steel and HP up. Huh. We also have two card packs. Probably come back for those Thanks. later. Hope to see you again soon. Household goods. We got everything you need. Uh. All the essentials at bargain prices. Uh. Come grab a seat. Was the bookstore down here? Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Finally decided to get up. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards... 
Wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Uh, Cloud's actions uh, affect his relationship with his allies, and the strength of these bonds can alter uh, portions of the story. Press L1 to view a comrade's feeling towards Cloud, as indicated by symbols such as green smiley face or blue incredibly happy face. She seems neutral to us. I'll catch up with you later, alright? Very well. Cactuar King's completely sold out? Lame. What do we got hey here? Hey there. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh. I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Uh, spin skill points at Magnata Books located and autonomous to augment your party's folios, thus unlocking powers of latent in your abilities. Sure, let's go ahead and read the tutorial. I think that this is going to be kind of like the Crystarium from the first game, but let's go ahead and uh, double check. Select Cloud's, Cloud's portfolio. The orange skill cores can be unlocked by spending skill points. Uh, move the cursor over the skill core to see what it does. Uh, for now, move the skill core to the upper left. Uh, synergy ability, Firework Blade. Uh, Cloud uses Aerith's magic to unleash a range attack. Uh, effect limit level increase. Okay. Now unlock the skill by holding X. Uh, you have now mastered a new synergy ability. Uh, as you unlock core skills, adjacent cores become available in turn. Uh, you are free to choose which uh, skill cores to unlock and when adapting a character's strength to suit your playstyle. Increasing the party level creates more skill cores. A uh, character will earn SP when they level up or when they acquire manuscripts such as the Art of Swordplay. Unlocked skill cores can be reset at any time and the SP spent will be returned, so feel free to experiment. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. All right, now can I do that in here? Okay, so I have to do it in here. So this is a thing with Barrett and Red 13. Uh, temporary three charge ATP gauge very well and this is with everyone team up with your partners to take a strong defensive stance yeah let's go ahead and do that one okay now Tifa we got cloud right here Gives us temporarily unlimited MP very well. Let's go ahead and do the unlimited MP. Aerith. Limit level increase for divine punishment. Atifa makes use of Aerith's magic to deal damage across a wide area very well. Whereas bodyguard. Uh, ask your partner to defend you while you move about the field. Let's go ahead and do Divine Punishment. And then Red 13, we have Overfang, which is the one with uh, Barreth that increases limit level. And then Wild Charge, a team up with your partners to charge forward uh, while guarding against incoming attacks. Go ahead and do that one. Very well. Have a good one. All right, now. 
Looks like we have another card player up here. So let's go ahead and take on the third that card player. If we could you get know, to... Oh, there they are. <laughs> what a glorious wall. Keeping us safe and secure. I could gaze at it all day. Well, I did kind of just destroy Excuse it. Excuse me. That was my barricade you just destroyed. Oh, come to admire the Bailey? It is something. Or maybe you're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. <laughs> I'm Zahira. A pleasure. Just like Calm's Wall, I yield to no one, refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Don't presume you'll emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. It's a card game. What is your people's problem? It's a card game. Uh, let's go ahead and get Cactuar in there. And go ahead and get one of those guys out. Go to redraw that one and that one. All right, and starting out, let's go ahead and put bird guy up in the corner again. And let's go ahead and put the sweeper down on bottom. Cactuar up top as well. And put Wolf down there. What just happened? soldier right here on the no let's go ahead and put the bird right here on this plus three that we have and let's go ahead and put the alpha dunk dude down here Go ahead and put the J Sweeper down here, and then that should be a victory for us. Very well, very well. Impossible. How could someone break through my perfect defense? Who are you? New blood, down, joke your ears, raise your new blood rank. I knew I couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls can keep people safe. But even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Right. Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were. And I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. Lady, you- oh god. I can go in here? Okay, what's up the ladder? More importantly, can I swim in the canal? Yeah, can I swim in the canal? I can. Will this give me to anything special? Don't 
don't know if it will. The simple fact that I can swim. Ooh, chest. Uh, we acquired a headband. Very well. My boy and I had a big falling out. Okay, so the he music was coming from it. around here. Word Got it. Well Not anything now. in the actual canal. I am Baron Morning. What do you want to do today? I don't know how. Okay. See, there was something we could do over here, right? I remember from the top of the hotel. Is it just me, or is Broden not doing so well? Please. That's my one regret about you. Um, is this really the If you're expecting a friendly howdy do, look elsewhere. We have our hands full dealing with the refugees. Okay, I guess not. Weirdos whispering. Ooh. Hey, Tifa. Uh, morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Place I made that promise to you. Yeah. Place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Very well. This is such a quiet, peaceful town. This Mako tank allows us. <laughs> okay. Feels a little weird to be taking it easy, though. I mean, understandable. The tank itself is modeled after Calm's old Republic era water tank. Jeez, hey, what do we have going on up here? So we have encountered Red. We have encountered Aerith and Tifa. Something for the kids. So is Barrett gonna be up at the up at the weapon shop? I could find my way to the weapon shop. Hey, vending machine. Try a relaxing. See, is it this way? Okay, so here's the weapon shop. I really was expecting to find Bear here. Guess not. Welcome. Damn, that is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Adjust weapon skills via upgrade. Uh, weapons in the main menu, raising a character's weapon level will unlock more of these skills as well as stat boosts, allowing you to customize your a party and suit your playstyle. Uh, changing a character's weapon will not reset this level. Uh, I believe I still know how to do this for the first game, but let's go ahead and start. Uh, select uh, weapon upgrades. Uh, here you can see your party's current equipment, their weapon levels, and the amount of skill points need needed to reach the next level. Uh, select the uh, Cloud's Buster Sword. A weapon's attributes are, er, and acquired skills are displayed here. Uh, now try equipping a weapon skill. Press triangle. The nodes in which you can equip skills are displayed here. Okay. Uh, here you'll find a list of available skills. Uh, select weapon ability damage plus five and equip it. Okay. As you increase your weapons level, you can learn more skills and unlock more nodes. 
in which to set them. Uh, in addition to upgrade, or in addition to the weapon upgrade screen, you can also tweak your skill loadout by going to materia and equipment screen and selecting a character and pressing triangle to set materia. Yeah, I already know that. If you would prefer more streamlined experience, you can opt to automatically allocate weapon skills. Uh, this can be done from the auto upgrade settings in the menu. Yeah, not gonna do that, but you can. See? what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, alright? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. Uh, new weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels, but should you happen to miss one, the local arms dealer will have it available to, to purchase. Many of these merchants even stock the latest armor and accessories, so be sure to check in often. Yeah, sure, what do you got? Ooh, you got the Sleek Saber. You got a Hunter's Bangle. Bone Bracelet, Power Wrist, Bulletproof Vest, Earrings, Talisman, and Revival Earring. I do not have enough gill for the Sleek Saber. How much gill do I have? Where is it? I have 2,000. I need 3,000. Oh, very well. You take care of that weapon now. Each weapon comes with a distinct ability, which can be used when a weapon is equipped. Uh, using the ability repeatedly or meeting its proficiency bonus condition will increase your proficiency. Max out this proficiency to, uh, to use that ability even when you do not have its corresponding weapon equipped. Yep. Okay, so. Great weapons. Buster Sword. Set weapon skills. Yeah, having the damage plus 5% definitely does seem like the most beneficial. Bear it. Unflitching Overload makes it harder to interrupt while using Overcharge. Or plus 200 HP. Let's do the Unflinching Overload. Tifa, Martial Arts Mastery. Increase the duration of Unbridled Strength by 50% or Utterly Unbridled Strength. That increases the pack attack power while Unbridled Strength is active with a 5% boost at Chi Level 1, 10 at Level 2. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Aerith. Wind Damage Up. Increases Wind Damage by 10%. Or not so fleeting familiar. Increases fleeting familiar duration by 25%. Let's go ahead and do that. And Nano Key. Uh, restores HP when activating Vengeance Mode. Or increases Counter Spin Potency. Right, let's do Counter Spin. Why not? Very well, very well. Oh, you know what? I just realized if I had probably talked to Tifa first, this probably would be a date with Tia, with Tifa, and not Aerith. Need something for the kids? How about a handmade wooden doll? But that's what multiple playthroughs are for, and if so the Julia first game is anything to go by, chapter select is for. Uh, so let's go ahead and make our way to the clock tower. I am still intrigued on where Barrett is, though. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor oh, there bombs, is. followed by the fall of the center. Look who it is. You up already? Drinking already? Ha, no, sir. Not gonna have a drop till Seventh Heaven's back up and running. Oh, first one will taste good. First one will taste good. Damn straight. Especially because I'll be having it with friends at a huge party. Very well, very well. 
these wine grapes are very delicate. I think the first you option know, there was the first one's on me, routine, but I read it as this one's on me, yeah. so I was like, no, that's not what we want to do. Although I think that probably would be on the best option for Barrett friendship what right there. To... Cloud, over here. Let's get started then, shall we? Very well, up we go. Following Madam Aerith. Up to the top of the clock tower. I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Is that Cosmo Canyon? Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. <gasps> oh, goody. Gotta be. Fugitives. Well, thank you for putting Fireman Pole right there. Just what do you think you're a god? <laughs> There you are. There isn't much time. We need to get back to the inn. But... Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. No violence. Please. This town suffered enough. Come on. Avalanche or Wu-Tai? Follow me. Wait, Broden, Broden, Broden. That wasn't Tifa's dad's name, right? His name was Brady or something. Not here. Like that. Well, we know we'll they're the town. Hey, you! Seen anyone acting suspicious? No, I haven't. Well, if any of you see someone suspicious, inform the nearest trooper. Got it? I want them found now. I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgard. That was you, wasn't it? What? No. It's okay. I'm on your side. I got a contact at HQ. You're with Avalanche? Not exactly. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. So not exactly Avalanche. So... Wu-Tai? <clears throat> 
Anyway, let's go ahead and climb on up here. May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Now that you mention it, I think I might have. Though perhaps it was just my imagination. Or was it? Well, for the love of... Get out of here! Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a fugitive air about them. If only I could remember their faces. Annoy someone else and stop wasting our time. No, no, keep wasting their time. Because that was entertaining for me. Let's go ahead. You know, turn up yet? No. Cloud and Aaron definitely have we'll that harder. history of being. We gotta find them. Being on scaffolding while people are looking for him. Anyway, I think this is going to be the the thing I saw from the top of the uh, hotel, which is this little slide right here. So let's go ahead and slide on down. That went well. The end's not much further, but stay on your toes. I guess we're going in the back way. Where are they? Down below, waiting for you. The tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. <laughs> yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Uh, from the item transmitter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items such as consumables, equipment, accessories, and more. Uh, to expand your transmitter options, collect transmitter chips found throughout the world, or improve their craftsmanship. Very well. Let's go ahead and view that tutorial. <clears throat> Begin tutorial. Open up the transmitter screen. Uh, the current transmutable items are listed here. Increasing your craftsman skill and acquiring transmuter chips will expand the range of items you can, you can create. It looks like currently we can do potions, mist potions, phoenix downs, antidotes, smelling salts, and eco mist. No, I'm sorry. It looks like right now we can only do potion, antidote, and smelling salts. Uh, we can do some more things when we increase our level. Uh, there, these are the material, or these are the materials and necessary amounts uh, for the selected items. Uh, here you can see the requirements for transmuting a potion. Uh, it's going to require ten sage and three planets blessings. Very well. Transmuting an item for the first time grants XP, which increases your craftsmanship. Be sure to create new items whenever you get the chance. A transmute a potion by selecting it from the list and holding X. So we gain 10 experience for that. And this and it now requires less. Uh what's it called? Less materials to craft. So instead of 10 sage, it now takes five. Very well. 
Through transmutation, you can keep your supplies topped up without needing to buy items from vendors. Uh, materials can also be found out in the field or in chests and gained through combat. Uh, there are also items that can only be obtained via transmutation. Very well. Good to know. Let's go ahead and uh, head on out. Oh, hello there, guys. You made it. All in one piece? Sorry we're late. For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? Uh... Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. <clears throat> Got that? Okay, so let's go ahead and make our way out of here. Bring up the rear and ensure others make it out safely. I feel like Barrett could do that same thing, but okay. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Alright, while they're making their way through there, let's go ahead and collect this chest. Three sprigs of laurel. Okay, okay. Got some transmutation materials by the look of it. Oh, the transmutations from this game are going to be insane, aren't they? Just out of curiosity. Item transmuter. Okay, so we need sage laurel and pearl ginger root for an antidote. And then numerous ashes laurel and a beast talon for smelling salts. Very well. Let's go ahead and uh, head on out. And this should be one of the scenes from, like, the first trailer, right? <sighs> wow. Oh, yeah. The grasslands. Just look at it all. It's so green. Everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm, for starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left, right. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go.
Address your party or battle party from the command settings screen in the main menu. Uh, you can create up to three preset parties to swap between. Uh, while exploring the world, open the command menu and press L1 or R1 to switch parties. Interesting. Uh, press the touchscreen to open the map and get your bearings uh, while story markers, the blue diamond, and discovery markers, a uh, blue circle, uh, will be automatically added to the map. Uh, you can place your own pin by pressing R3. For now, head to the farm Broden spoke of as marked by the red star. Okay, so we are heading over here. Very well, very well. Go ahead and head out. There's going to be so much to explore here. Something tells me that we want to get to that farm as soon as possible. Uh. Should we be worried about those things? We're fine. How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier. Local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if your nose can discern their... Uh, the materials required to transmit items can be obtained while out exploring the world. Uh, Procured from combat or purchased at chocobo uh, tax shops. Uh, if you are ever in need of a special material, uh, take note of its symbol as it may point you in the right direction. A little white twig is obtained out into the, in the world. Bone is a drop material and then the yellow twig is hard to come by. Furthermore, pressing the map uh, in the item transmitter menu, or pressing the touchscreen in the item transmitter menu will re reveal more information are required materials. Intent before they attack, as I gather yours can't. Very well, I did not mean to do that. Ooh, chunk of iron. Attack! Yes! Now! Abilities! Assess! The orc! Allow me. Uh, so orcs are weak to fire. They are beastmen with short tempers that live in grassy areas. Uh, they possess primitive weapons, often attacking fellow orcs uh, with them as a form of communication or play. Exploring the elemental weakness will pressure them. Very well, there was also a man with war, I believe. So let's go ahead and assess that. Best do it right. Uh, weakness to fire and ice. Uh, these are botanical creatures found in grassy areas, although capable of using their roots uh, like feet to move around, they will plant themselves in soil uh, to rest when tired. Exploring their elemental weakness will pressure them, inflicting enough damage will cause them to rest. Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities will interrupt their rest. Very well. Alright, let's go ahead and take that. Go on. And we can fire. Don't Let's overdo go ahead it. And switch on over to Aerith. Uh, Aerith is adept at long range magic. Press square to unleash magic attacks. Capable of hitting multiple targets. Hold square to charge the tempest skill. Strike an enemy with a skill uh, fully charged. Will summon a fleeting familiar to assist you in combat. Uh, press triangle to instantaneously warp between any magic wards. Aerith has conjured. Here goes. No Very well. Get ready. No more. That'll do. You'll see. Be at peace. Is that it? There we go. Very well, very well. Alright. Can I get in this pipe? Is there anything in nope, I can climb on it though, that's fun. Hey, more orcs. Bring it. I have you. Ha! 
It's on you. So it's my turn? <sighs> Keep my it's your turn. Red 13 uh, can definitely take down enemies with his very sharp claws and fangs. Press square to swipe at foes. Or hold it down to unleash a, whirl, a whirling slash. Uh, successfully guarding attacks fills the vengeance gauge, uh, which can be consumed with triangle to enter vengeance mode. Increasing Red 13's attack power and dodge speed. Uh, vengeance mode can be activated at any time, but it will last longer according to how full his gauge is. My aid. Very well. Got you to bleed. It's over. When it throws a battle, the uh, entity slumbering within you or within an equipped Samaria summon materia uh, may begin to stir, prompting the summon gauge to appear. When this gate is completely filled, you can call upon this, uh, this deform entity for assistance. Let's so, we already have, have the ability to summon. Going in. I doubt we'll actually need to. Yeah, there's only Come one. On. Can we see? Can I do anything at this shack? Nope, the door is locked. Oh, that's what I heard. They walked into a ladder. I, I heard them walk into a ladder and I thought that as we uh, rounded the corner, somebody like busted out of the door. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and head on over here on the map to, I'm assuming it's, uh, is it Chocobo Bill? Why do I have Chocobo Bill and Chocobo Charlie both in my name, or both in my brain? I don't even know if either of those are, cor are correct. Let's go ahead and climb up here. a ruby at some point I'm just gonna need to run around collecting materials aren't I It's Choco Billy, isn't it? It's important to make sure they've got plenty. You'd be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you'd be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wager Shinra's forgotten it's even there. This stuff here ain't feed for the animals. Wish there was some more I could do, but I ain't got the space to put y'all up. Swamp's your best bet for now. Very well. What is this? Oh, is this the, uh, the folio thing? Yes, it is. We got vending machines here, which we can buy stuff. It looks like we got cushions here. Uh, it allows you to use broken down rest stops, by the way. And a cheaper hunter's bangle. No, I'm not gonna spend my money on equipment right now. Let's go ahead and rest up.
you know what? I Let's go ahead and just play with this right now. Uh, Cloud has powerful Punisher. Increases Punisher mode. Strong attack by 3%. Uh, ability wind current and release wind magic without expending MP. Effect chain attack. Learn this ability to strengthen wind materia spells. And then ranged blade. And perform a ranged attack with your partner. Uh, which would be... Red 13 or Barret. Let's go ahead and do Rage Blade. All right, and Red. We can increase counter spin proficiency. We got Wildfire. At least it's a fire magic attack without expending MP. Let's go ahead and do Overfang. Uh, Barret sends Red 13 flying towards the enemy at high velocity. Alright, Aerith. Use wind magic. Increase synergy skill damage by 5%. Or bodyguard. Let's go ahead and do bodyguard. Ask a partner to defend you. Uh, Barret. Fiery impulse. Fire without MP. Max HP up. Increases HP by 200. Or... Temporary tree charge ATB. Let's go ahead and increase Barrett's uh, HP by 200. Tifa. Team up with partners to perform a jumping attack. Uh, free ice. Or increase damage built by unique. Let's go ahead and do the, the leaping strikes. And that should be it. Yeah, now we're back to Cloud. Very well. It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. Need to be nice. Oh, and now we need to go to the abandoned dock. So they fetch a high price. Which, let me guess. Uh, when we get there, there's going to be a giant snake in our way. Anyway, let's go ahead and make our way across the plains. Let's see what all we come across. Other than this beautiful looking world. Oh, hello there. Yep, we already know that we can use this stuff. Assess! The Too Elf bad. Dunk. Uh, ooh, it's weak to fire and ice. Uh, docile herbivores that roam graphic areas, while not easily angered, they will nevertheless fly into an uncontrollable rampage is sufficiently provoked. Exploring the elemental weakness will pressure them, or while their guard is up, landing powerful offensive abilities from behind will pressure them, uh, but also cause them to see red. Very well. No, hold on. Shit. Let's go ahead and hit with the fire. Bird, gotcha. Let's do this. Here it comes. One more shot. Here we go. Go ahead and hit this one with another fire. No, it's on now. Ha! 
You're mine. That wasn't so bad. Very well, very well. Alright, now I'm making our way to the abandoned dock. Got some planet's blessing right there. Ooh, what do we got going on here? Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to calm. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old buttes pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Not quite what we meant, but thanks. Swing by the ranch once you're done with uh, whatever you got going on. Will do, will do. Got so much to explore. I will definitely be doing that. Seeing as how we're already at an hour and a half recording, I'll probably be doing that either off camera or in an, another episode. Let's go ahead and make our way to the swamp. We've got some more elephant friends here. I got your number. Weak to ice. Uh, large rats often found in wide open plains. Their poisonous bodies ward off all potential predators, allowing them to multiply unchecked. As their numbers continue to, to grow, so does their territory. And exploiting their weakness will, uh, will stagger uh, pressure them. Going in. We also had a wolf, right? Best do it right. Grassland's wolf, weak to ice, feral beasts that stalk the plains outside Midgar. They live in hunted packs, preying not only on wild animals, but occasionally livestock and people too. Exploit the elemental weakness, blocking their spin swipe attack, or evading them while they attempt to pin you, will pressure them. Uh, we will occasionally be bounced, which you'll have a I'll show you what I can do. You can do it. This is you. None of the strong survive. You brought this on yourself. Very well. And we got some ruins up here. Anything of interest in the ruins? Got a potion and a cushion. Some sage. Apparently 
Can't climb that wall. Timber. Let's see, what else is up in here? Definitely feel like there should be a chest. Not these crates, but an actual loot chest. But I'm not seeing anything. Interesting. Very interesting. up that? Apparently not. Oh, well, let's go ahead and make our way to the swamp. I'm assuming once we make our way there, we will quickly unlock um, Chocobo Travel. Oh, I was hoping I could attack the deer. But my swords went right through it. I mean, it makes sense, but I was still hoping. Ooh, what was that? What's that purple? Purple was item che or weapon chest, right? Steel s or sleek saber. Which was a weapon for cloud, right? it is increasing his attack by 10 and his magic attack by 2 and it also gets us a new materia slot not that we have any extra material what is this ATP charge rate I need to remember to use uh, weapons uh, special abilities. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. It looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junai. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. <sighs> this swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> well, can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. <laughs> very well, very well. I'm just out of curiosity. Is this like the original where shouldn't swim this bog? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go go rent some birds, shall we? At Bill's Chocobo Ranch. But if his truck's down, we shouldn't meet him there, right? Should be unavailable. There was a squirrel right there, right? I'm not crazy. Hey! Hello! Go on! Move! Yeah, just little ground squirrels. I got your number. Uh, 
herbivorous or herbivorous creatures that prefer grassy areas, digging networks of tunnels that occasionally uh, reveal springs of water. Their tails are too large to be concealed, always poking out of holes. Uh, this creature digs. Hitting them with powerful attacks will make them flinch and drive them out of their burrows, pressuring them. That's it. Let's finish this. Summon our first uh, chunk of, or our first summon here. Get him. Choco Mod. Uh, summons fight alongside you for a brief period, and their remaining time is indicated by their gradually decreasing gauge. Uh, these beings have a will of their own and engage in enemies as they see fit. However, you can command them to unleash unique attacks by expanding your party member's ATB ch uh, charges. When the summon gauge is completely depleted, a summon will execute a devastating ultimate attack before it disappears. Uh, did I need to do this? Of course not! Not enough? Was it... fun to do? Of course! Let's try Moogle Blast. Or not? <laughs> There, this one. Moogle Blast! It's over! Boom! Nothing to it. <laughs> very well, very well. Alright, now continuing on the road. Collecting materials. Is this one of them their worn down rest stations? Uh, while many Chocobo stops built in the days of the Republic have fallen into disrepair, their benches are mostly intact. Uh, if you have a cushion, you can sit down for a rest, which will fully replenish your HP and MP. So, yeah, we, we have seven cushions. Let's go ahead and use one here. He legitimately pulls out a cushion and just sits on it. Oh, uh, I guess this is going to be replacing the tents from the original game. Hey, love this. But him just pulling out a cushion makes me think that he could just quite literally sit anywhere. But, whatever. There it is, that's how it is. So the toxic rack is ice. Wait, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, I need to do fire. Gotcha. No time to celebrate. Right. Can I move my camera further away? That's better. This ends 
here. Sloppy. This one's for you. Alright, so what's this uh, bonus game? Does that mean that we or that I've got gotcha. enough to now? Weapons 101. Huh? Max out of uh, weapon uh, abilities proficiency. Okay, so yeah, it is maxed out. That's that. Was never in doubt. So let me see if I can't take a look at that. I think I'm going to need to play with this a little bit more to understand it a little bit better. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put the Buster Sword back on so that I can start learning that stuff. Because I forgot about that in, to begin with. And hey, it's Choco Billy. Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever. Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo. Nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Hmm? There's something I can help you with? I want to know about the uh, Midgard Sorum. Ah, uh, that'd be the serpent that lives in the swamp. Longer than a river, quieter than a whisper, and quicker than a lightning bolt. Cause the water to so much as ripple, it'll come barreling after you, gaping maw and all. Ooh, gives me chills just thinking about it. Lucky for you, most chocobos can outrun the devil. Though I'm sure you already knew that. Any man of the road would have heard the tales. And judging by that sword, you've been the subject of a few yourself. Of course you have. If there's one thing I know besides chocobos, it's how to spot a seasoned frontiersman. Chocobo would be nice. You might could talk to Billy over in the stables. He'll be happy to tell you all you need to know. And we're good. All right, Billy. Let's go ahead and talk to Billy. Howdy. Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But 
I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. Uh, the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Well, very well, very well. Let's go ahead and talk to Chloe. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um, why do you ask? I was... Thinking about reaching out, it's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh! Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Oh, uh, chocobo gear. Uh, Ranch's tackle shop will have chocobo gear for sale, which can only be traded for uh, golden plumes. These rare feathers can be obtained by wrangling new chocobos or, or repairing chocobo stops. So, do we have any? No. Are these just cosmetic? Or do they actually do anything? They look to be just cosmetic. Well, that's fine. Hmm. Let's see. There's honestly nothing here I really want to buy. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. Ooh, another weapon. Timeless rod, so that should be for Aerith. Yes. Ooh, uh, strike an enemy and inflict stop. Very well. Uh, before we do that, I guess let's go ahead and get her arcane ward up. Activate the effect of the ward one time only while ward is in the field. Very well. What's up here? Is the fat chocobo materia still here at the shop? 
Oh god, we have a Mo Moogle medal. I forgot about the Moogle medals. Oh no. All right, Biko. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some tracks. Got a chest right here. Uh, containing a pinion of some sort. Let's see. Before we go looking for anything. Do kind of want to grab as much from here as I as we can. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, the fat chocobo materia from the first game we needed to get, or from the original, I should say, we needed to get the chocobos to dance. Can I interact with you? Doesn't look like it. So if it is still here, it does look like it's going to be different than it was in the original. Which is perfectly fine. What is this? Got it. Okay. Is that something I could pick up? No, it's just a trade-in. Got it. Got it. So let's go ahead and start uh, tracking down this chocobo. Can I climb up here and get over? Yeah. Nope, darn it. Get me out of here! Oh hey, look, chocobo tracks. Which very quickly disappeared. Uh, but judging by my mini map or by my radar up top, I'm assuming they're this way. Oh god. Hold up. Uh, maybe not. Good thing I checked that instead of just kept running. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually follow the tracks. Where were they? Oh, they went this way. Yeah, I could have ran forever right there and never noticed. Hey, Chocobo Feathers. I mean, are those not golden plumes? Can I not pick those up in order to... Trade them in Bingo. for gear. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Approach Pico without being noticed. If you are in danger of being spotted by him, or one of his pack mates, quickly press zero to roll out of sight. You can also distract chocobos by throwing stones. You pick up, use L1 to aim and square to throw. Okay. All the way over there without being noticed. Can I? Very well. Oh, wait, that one went to sleep. This one turns around, right? Yes. So that one left. Well, not left, but he turned around. That one went to sleep. 
And now we did pick up a stone, so let's go ahead and try to throw it over there. Oh god, that was a big stone. And there we go. Maybe you tell me what to do now. What do I do now? Huh, I guess I got him. Just the cutest. <laughs> you know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> what does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. <gasps> Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. Oh, very well. I guess we're going back to the ranch. <gasps> I mean, I guess we only had the one chocobo, so it wouldn't make sense for all of us to ride him back. But, I don't know why Cloud got off. Anyway, let's continue on. I think he wasn't actually that far from the ranch, so... I don't know why the kids couldn't have done that. I guess I technically just answered my own question. Guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Before we do that, we got some plumes, right? I really can't thank you enough for bringing Pico back to us. Yeah, we got two plumes. So, torso protector? Sure. If you ever want to change your chocobo's gear, feel free to use the stable just over there. Hey, Cloud! Oh, hello. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? Uh, yeah, you're the AI I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. What the hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. 
as will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Very well, I guess let's go ahead and power up the AI. It's the worst that could happen. Here we are. Activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. At least there's After that. careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. World Intel, Chadley will employ the data you collect to develop new materia, create new combat simulations, and embark on other scientific endeavors. Activate the, uh, the Rimware, or however you pronounce that, towers you encounter to help Chadley deepen your understanding of this world. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Uh... Develop materia. With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about World Intel and the like? The towers. These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which in turn reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution, though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Sure, the combat simulator. With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real-world location. That's the combat simulator. Or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons, once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after poring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one, the tower in Colossus known as Titan. Engage oh, him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Uh, specific intel related tasks. Which particular task would you like to learn about? Life spring surveys. Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. 
if you still have questions about World Intel, please ask away. Will do. What more can you tell me about the combat assignments? While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about World Intel, please ask away. So you want to be a monster color for you. That is very fine indeed, but uh, what's this uh, I, I hear about crystal analysis? In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Sure, I don't even know how to pronounce this word. Is it proto relic salvaging? Yeah, sure. What, what's that? Ah, uh, yes, I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. <laughs> A rather endearing name, if I may say so. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about World Intel, please ask away. You know what? No, no, I'm good. Do you happen to have any questions about World Intel and the like? No, dude, I, I told you I was good. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Okay, so... Uh, we are able to make the fire and ice materia, which allows us to cast fire and blizzard. Interesting, I like it. The auto cast materia, uh, which allows you to automatically use spells uh, with the link materia when not actively con uh, controlled during battle. The morph materia uh, allows you to turn enemies into items with morph. Uh, enemies whose health have fallen below a certain amount can be defeated in this fashion. Very well. And then the auto unique ability allows an ally to automatically use unique abilities when not actively controlled during combat. Uh, Tifa will also use unbridled strength when not actively controlled uh, if this materia has been equipped. Very well. So, I have 20 points. Let's go ahead and do a morph. Oh no, I don't have 20 points. I guess I only have 10 points? Oh, got it. Uh, they, they get more, more and more expensive. Uh, we're also gonna do a fire and ice. Very well. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Combat Simulator updates. Assessing and defeating new fiends will provide Chadley with the data he needs to update the simulator with combat challenges. Complete these challenges to earn a variety of rewards such as powerful summoning materia. Speak with Chadley to access the, to access the simulator. Oh goody. Got Titan in the simulator. Okay, okay, let, Cloud. let's. I have recreated Titan, the mythical colossus of the grasslands, in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Yeah, let, let, let's go ahead and take a look at, at the simulator. Okay, so I guess Titan has a level sync? 
There's also... God, th th there's a lot of things that will help you go through and learn stuff. Well, very well. What does toggle data mean? Got it. Okay. We'll go ahead and do that later. If there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. Let's go ahead and chalk talk to Billy again. Because I'm assuming the Chocobo should be available at this point. Ooh, hey Tifa. Can I talk to you? No. Can I talk to Barrett? No. I can't talk to anyone. Darn it. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a running. Uh, press R1 to use your choco whistle and summon your bird to your side while out exploring the world. Note you can only call a chocobo in a region once you have wrangled that region's bird. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Very well. Oh, hey, Choco Bill is gone. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? All right, hop on Pico and talk to Bill. Okay, but how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Uh, use the training grounds at Bill's Ranch to get the hang of chocobo riding. Pass each of the goalposts and in order and complete his course as quickly as he can. Uh, R2, L3 to dash, uh, press again to sprint, and circle to jump. Sure, let's go ahead and practice. Pretty self-explanatory. This L3 and sprint and keep going. That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly? She hasn't been herself since mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. 
Uh, people the world over are willing to pay Top Gill for Cloud's hand or hand for hire services. Uh, to track these odd jobs, open the world map and select quests. Certain settlements will have a notice board upon which citizens in need will post job offers. Except a job will mark your new employer on the map. Tackle the odd jobs listed here to earn rare rewards, deepening your bond with your allies and increasing your party level. Uh, you could warp to any uh, unlocked waypoints, such as towns, uh, repair chocobo stops, and activated uh, remware towers. Uh, press the map button and select a location to instantly travel to it. Note that you can only fast travel to chocobo stop once you have wrangled the region's chocobo. Well, very well, very well. Guess let's go ahead and activate the quest for Chloe. Also. Let's go ahead and put this harness on. Ooh, I can edit the colors. Talk to Chloe. Oh, hey, you're back. I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So, I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? We'll take the job. What happened to your parents? Ask your brother. We'll take the job. I'm not going to ask about the parents. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. All right, and now with that done, that activated. What are these? World Intel, Moogle Intel, interesting. Looks like we have another tower right there. What do we have here? Expedition, whatever that is. Uh, looks like a fiend location. What in the world are you? Phenomenon Intel, okay. All right, well, yeah, it looks like we have unlocked some things on the map. And in theory, we should be able to return to Calm. Yeah, we can fast travel right there, or right there. That said, everyone, I think that is going to be the end of... Yeah, that is definitely going to be the end of today's episode. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, until next time, when we do some exploring around the world, and all of that sort of stuff, uh, this is Fanon52 signing out, and peace out.